most of us think that breathing deeply or taking um, more frequent breaths is healthy. But in fact, the exact opposite is true. We need to breathe slower and less in order to be more healthy. And the magic ingredient behind that is carbon dioxide. And how carbon dioxide can actually be a mental, emotional and physical performance enhancer. Let's deep dive into the magic of CO2. When you breathe too fast or too shallow, ironically, you decrease oxygen supply to your tissues. Carbon dioxide is a smooth muscle relaxer and it's actually a vasodilator and bronchodilator. So by breathing slower and deeper, so increasing your carbon dioxide can increase blood supply to your organs, your brain, your heart, your lungs, your stomach. Um, it can increase your breathing function and it can also increase blood flow to your periphery, like your hands and feet. And this can be of great benefit to people with Achilles issues, plantar fascia issues, or Dupuytren's contractures. So how do we know if we have healthy CO2 levels? Well, there's two sensitivity tests that test how sensitive your brain is to carbon dioxide. The one is um, from well-known breath expert Patrick McKeon and from the Oxygen Advantage, and that's called the BOLT test, and the other one is a timed exhale test. So let's do the BOLT test first. What you're going to do is you're going to take a normal breath in, and then a normal breath out. Don't try and breathe out more than normal. And you're going to hold your breath and pinch your nose. And you're going to time how long you can hold your breath before you have involuntary contractions of your stomach, your diaphragm, your throat, or a strong urge to breathe. Um, so as an example, I'm going to take a normal breath in, normal breath out, not all the way. Hold my nose. And time how long before... I have a strong urge to breathe or I have these involuntary contractions. We're aiming for 20 to 40 seconds. Near 40 seconds is really good. Less than 20 seconds would mean you need to work on your breathing and you're possibly overventilating or breathing too fast or too shallow or a combination of both. The breathe out test. You take a deep breath in and then you slowly exhale as slow as you possibly can and you time how long you can exhale for. Very, very slow timed exhale out. So breathe out test scores, what does it mean? Less than 20 seconds, you have a breathing issue and um, we have resources to help you work on that. You want to make sure that you, you have, don't have reciprocal or paradoxical breathing. You want to make sure that when you sleep at night, you nose breathe and you can gently work on your breath and breath holding. Um, I have an excellent resource which is free called the Airy app, available on Android and Apple. Um, I suggest you try to use that and it will safely guide you through different breathing practices. It's very, very important that you approach breath from a place of safety and security. Um, if it's too stressful, you can have an adverse reaction to breathing and you can then either resent it or not stop doing breathing. So always, always approach breath from a safe and secure space. It's a, it's a question of trust. You should never have your trust ruined on something that's trying to help you or that's something that's so deeply important to your nervous system and to you. Okay, so practicing breathing out here in nature can really help with um, a sense of calming and slowing our breathing down. Because remember, ultimately the aim is to slow your breathing down and take flu fewer, softer breaths per minute, right? So there's a couple of ways we can do this. One is a thing called resonance or cadence breathing. And we do... 365 breathing so three times a day slow your breathing down to six breaths per minute and do that for five minutes so out here in nature is the perfect time and place to practice resonance or cadence breathing and again that breathing um, is on the airy app so you can get guided through it or you can just learn to do it yourself so in through the nose breathing in through the nose and out through the nose Um, is a good idea. You can also practice gentle humming. So often when I do tasks like manual tasks like chopping wood or working with the ropes, I'll hum. And so we, if we want to hum, it's just really simple. In through the nose. And humming out. So humming is good for you sort of on three levels. One is it's auditory feedback. So it can keep you on task and you have a... <laughs> Um, you're very well aware of your practice, okay, so it's easy to get distracted and that's also why sometimes using the app helps in the beginning because it keeps you on task for five minutes, at least you know you've done five minutes with the breathing. 
that humming, you'll quickly notice, oh, I stopped humming, and then you can get back on task. Uh, the humming, the vibration, also stimulates your vagus nerve, which is doubly calming. And then we think humming also stimulates nitric oxide, which is a bronchodilator. So humming is not a bad idea if you want to slow your breathing down and enhance and deepen your breathing practice. And then, you know, getting outside in nature where things calm down, there's no sharp, loud noises, um, taking a break from your screen, relaxing your eyes, looking out, um, that's sort of a panoramic view. As your eyes relax, it also helps soften your breathing. There is a link between your eyes and your visual stimulus and your ears and your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. And so getting out in nature is extraordinarily calming and can make your breathing practice more effective and more enjoyable and healthier. So there we go. So start small and just every day it's so easy to be mindful and to work on your breathing. Uh, it just requires being smart and finding some way that you can make it a habit and a routine and then your habit will start to shape you. So here we are, in the gorgeous Sunshine Canyon with the birds and the winds rustling in the trees and I hope and pray that you also have access to some happy place like Taylor's Rock to practice breathing and contemplation. Controlling your breath is one of the pillars and foundations of your very health and well-being. It affects every single organ in your body and it really profoundly affects the quality of oxygenation um, and the state of your nervous system and your mental and emotional state. So download the Airy app. We've got resources on there that are safe, secure, that you can trust and slowly and gently work on your breathing and a few times a day having gentle breathing snacks. Remember, it's very important. Like yourself, subscribe to yourself and turn on notifications because you never know when the universe is out there trying to help you. So take care, breathe less, breathe better, and let's make the world a better place one breath at a time.